I want to introduce you to the Pokies 57 CNC interface board. This interface is really versatile. Typically it's used with CNC machines and couples with the Mach 3 or Mach 4 CNC control software. But you can also use this interface with the Poblox programming environment to make it completely customized. And you can use this in environments for not only CNC machines, but robotics, assembly lines using conveyors, anything that needs limits and input-output control and movement. The Pokey 57 CNC interface is made by the folks at Polabs that make the Poscope and other Pokey's I.O. devices. The Pokey's 57 CNC interface has the ability to control up to eight independent stepper motors, handheld pendants to control the motion of the CNC and other aspects, a connection for a typical LCD screen so you can view the status of the CNC machine and digital readouts. It has the ability to receive five analog inputs using the ADC, the analog to digital converter. You have the option of receiving encoder signals. There are four open collector outputs to control various devices, and there's also a 0 to 10 volt isolated output, typically used for controlling a spindle speed. It has the possibility of 8 axis limits and homing, limits for plus and minus the each end of the axis, and homing for each axis. And this board also has a convenient DB25 connector, so you can use this as a typical parallel port connector. If your machine already has a parallel port and you want to switch to this type of interface, you can just use the DB25 parallel style connector that has the step and direction for four of these stepper motors and also has the inputs for limits for four of these axes. You can connect the computer that you're going to be using to control the CNC via a USB or Ethernet. Most of the pins, which there are more than 50 of them for input output, can be customized for your use. So if it's labeled as a specific type of input or output, you can actually customize that and change it within software. The interface can also be daisy chained with other peripherals and devices that are compatible with this type of board. So there really isn't any limit to your application and complexity of the application. The interface also features five PWM outputs, pulse width modulation, and they're specifically timed that would be able to be used for servo motors with a 20 millisecond period, but can be also used for other various applications for allowing a more analog type of output of a range of voltages. There's also an I squared C bus that can be connected to up to 100 sensors that is compatible with the I squared C protocol. The communication and power can come from the USB connector here for five volt power. But if you're gonna be fully using this board, you'll want to connect an external power source up to 24 volts, providing higher voltages for some of the outputs on the board and better current for the relays and all of the digital signals going out, including the ones that go above five volts. The interface also includes two standard relays and two solid state relays if higher power switching is necessary. In the next several videos, I'm gonna be showing the features of this board, how to make basic connections to this board for use with CNC routers and machines, and also how to configure this board in Mach 3 and Mach 4 CNC control software. For the applications that we use in Build Your CNC, we typically use these interfaces to move the machine using the stepper motors, controlling where the machine can be limited using the limit switches, turning on and off devices such as spindles, and also a unique control that we need is to be able to control a laser on a CNC machine as well, turning on and off a laser and also controlling the intensity of the laser. I'm going to be investigating how to control the intensity of a laser using this board and the PWM outputs, but also how to control the lasers on and off using a digital output. During this process with the laser, I'll also show you how to turn on and off a laser using software in a CAM program. So specific machining operations can be using the laser for engraving and cutting toolpaths.